Hi everyone, welcome to In the Studio with Kelly Hernig. Today is all about my superhero color. Do you remember what it is? That's right, Davies Gray. <laughs> so I've got multiple brands and I wanna see which one is the one that I should be using. So I'm excited to see what these colors are and how they relate to one another and if I can find one better than the Holbein. So let's go paint. We're gonna compare Davies Gray today. Now Holbein is my favorite Davies Gray and I wanted to try other brands. So I have Dick Blick, Da Vinci, Shinhan or PWC. I have Van Gogh and then I have Winsor Newton. And they look so different poured out. Look at this. Can you see the colors? I'm excited to play with these. <laughs> so let's start swatching. We're gonna swatch the big square first, and I'm gonna do a mass tone and then just a really skinny uh, lighter value. And then we will come back and add some colors down here like this so that we have some color mixing to see what they do with each other. Because part of the Davies Gray for me is it's not a big mixer. You really have to force it to kind of move into one another. At least that's the whole bind. So I'm hoping some of these other brands are a little more easily mixable. So we're going to start with the Dick Blick brand. And I have to remember water and I have to remember to splash. So if you can remind me, that would be great. <laughs> totally different color profile than the Holbein, which is interesting. I'm already excited to see what they, what they come out to be like. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my brush. I'm going to splash that. The next one is Da Vinci. This one probably looks, no, I would say Winsor Newton probably looks the closest, but then this one is probably third. This one looks a little lighter. See, I need some water there. Now this is more of the color coloration that I'm used to for Davies Gray, although I only have one to compare it to. Okay, let's add a little water to my brush. Look at the stark differences so far. This one almost looks like a green. I will be splashing along the way. You just don't need to see me do that all the time. There we go. The next one is Holbein. This is the one I'm comparing everyone to. I 
can tell you it's a little creamier than the other two right now on first first tries I guess And I'm used to using it out of a half pan, so it's weird that it's very creamy here, but out of a half pan, you know, you do have to work to kind of get it out. A little water on my brush. I'm going to pull this closer to me and maybe that will deflect the light just a little bit. The next one is Shenhan or PWC and this one looks really green on the palette. Look at how green this looks. It's that one right there. <laughs> Definitely greener. So glad to be doing this comparison. Because so far, would you think any of these are the same color? I would not, for sure. That's very interesting. A little bit of water. This one is the darkest of the group, at least on the palette, and this is Van Gogh. I did have a lot of separation from the binder when I first put this one out. I had to give it a good stir. This one's very close to the first one, which was the Dick Blick one. Can't wait to see what these do with the color mixes. <laughs> They're just so different. Okay, a little bit of water. None of them are really reacting great with the water. We'll see what happens when they dry. And the last one is Winsor & Newton. This one almost squirted out like toothpaste, very kind of thick. I always find with Winsor & Newton that I use a lot more paint. I don't know what it is with their formula or... just seems like I use it all. Whatever I put out, I use it all. This one's got a beautiful tone to it. Rinse my brush, add a little water.
Okay, let me bring this up so you can see them already. Just look at the difference here. Maybe I can get them all. There you go. Just look at the difference in coloration. So the first one was Dick Blick. The first one from the left is Dick Blick. And then we had Da Vinci. Then we had Holbein or HWC. Then we had Shinhan, which was PWC. And then we had Van Gogh and then Windsor Newton. And look at Van Gogh's, how it's separating into like the bright green in there. These are gonna be so fun. <laughs> I'm excited to see what colors they're gonna come up with. So I'm mixing them with three colors today. I'm going to, of course, do buff titanium because I have to do buff titanium to see what it's gonna do. Um, the three colors that I'm using to mix are all Daniel Smith. I'm gonna use raw sienna because I wanna try them with a yellow to see if any of them turn green with the raw sienna. And then opera pink. I just thought I would try a bold, even though these are very grayed in tones, I wanna see what it does to that pink. Does it turn it purple? Does it, does it turn it to mud? So we'll have to see about that. Okay, for this I'm gonna be using my Princeton number 10 snap brush. It is the flat shader. And it's Princeton on the back. This is the brush that I've been using for all of my other color blending. Because I know I want buff titanium all the way across, I'm just gonna do that real fast. I have to remember to splash. <laughs> I've been doing good, but we'll see what happens. If this is your first time here watching me color mix, my 100 day series, there's a playlist for it, shows me color mixing a bunch of other colors. I did it for I think 30, 40 days, something like that. So you'll get to see a lot of different color mixing, but this is how I did it. So on here, what I'm gonna do is start with the buff titanium. I'm gonna try to get three bat values out of it. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the first Davies Gray is Blick. So I'm gonna to just touch a little bit here and let's try to change the color. That's all I'm looking for is a slight change. I can go a little heavier. There we go. Might need a little more water. It's dragging, so I want it to be nice and smooth. There we go. I just wanna see a change. That's all I'm looking for. That's definitely a change. I'm gonna grab a little more of that blue, or gray, I should say. And you can see how different those look. That is exactly what I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna splash. And then I'm gonna do raw sienna. I'm gonna always start with the pure color so that I remember what I used. So here's raw sienna. Then I'm gonna to touch it into some of the Dick Blick or touch some of the gray into it. Again, I'm looking for a change, a color change. Just a little shift. Ooh, that's nice. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more in there. Because I added more yellow, I'm gonna add a little bit more gray. I gotta splash as I go or else I'll forget. <laughs> and then I've got opera pink. Upper pink is so intense, but it's a nice one to try against this gray. Look at that bright color. <laughs> so let's see what that does. Oh yeah, that dulled it nice. Kind of made a purple.
Let's add a little bit more Davies Gray. Again, this is the Blick. You can see I, it's a little dry, so I need more water. Okay, so all of these are going to be done the same. I'm going to use the Buff Titanium first, then the Raw Sienna, and then the Opera Pink. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do them all kind of in fast forward because otherwise this video will be an hour and a half long. And then I will come back and tell you what I thought about it. But you can watch me do it as we go. Okay, so the next one is Da Vinci. Okay, you can see these two here. What's interesting is look at the, the purples that they created. So this one has a much deeper, almost like a red violet, and this one is going to the blue side. So you can see this one's a lot greener and that one's a little more on the blue-green side. So that's really nice. And then the yellows too, you're getting a little bit of difference there. That one's definitely darker and this one's more like an olive yellow. So I'm liking that already, seeing the differences. We're going into Holbein now. It's weird that this is the color that I've just really come to expect as Davies Gray. Are you seeing how different all of them are? I mean, this is just the first three, look at that. Every color is different, even in the buff titanium. One's a little greener, one's a little bluer. It's awesome. Now I'm going into Shinhan or the PWC Davies Gray. Those had really great colors because of the bright green of that Davies Gray. Look at the difference there. This is a really nice mix for a green, for sure. I even like it with the Buff Titanium because it's kind of a, like a really light khaki green almost. I like that hue. <laughs> 
And I like all the different purples that it's making, or the violets. Okay, we are on to Van Gogh now. Van Gogh, remember, it was that really dark one. Even though this one was dark and the second darkest one, I really like what it did to the buff titanium. It gave such a nice green gray here. And I'm looking at this first gray and this first, the second gray here. And I really prefer this tone is really nice. So I could see this being used in nature. I could really see either of those being used, but I would probably use this one more because it's more neutrally. Um, which is interesting because this one seems darker. Um, but the green, I mean, the yellows too are really nice. The violets are okay. They're not my favorite. So one more color to go, the Windsor and Newton. I can tell you that I really did not enjoy mixing with the Winsor Newton. It took a lot of paint. And by that, I mean, I squirted out kind of the same amount, but look how much that took. The Van Gogh also took a lot. So that's, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the Winsor Newton, but every color I use, I always end up using the entire amount. You can see the rest of these, I barely used any. I did use quite a bit of the Da Vinci too, but that one's unbelievable. <laughs> so again, I mixed everything with Buff Titanium, Raw Sienna, and Opera Pink. I'm going to let these dry, label them, and then we're going to come back and talk about all the colors and what I think of them. Okay, here's all of our Davy Grays. So we have the Dick Blick, Da Vinci, Holbein, Shinhan, Van Gogh, and Windsor and & Newton. And we mixed it with the Buff Titanium, the Raw Sienna, and the Opera Pink. And how I did the Raw Sienna line, since I was unable to write, I put a dot on either side here and here. And then in the middle, I wrote dot Raw Sienna DS for Daniel Smith, and then another dot. That way I have a record of what I mixed them with. I'm going to bring you closer so you can see them, and then we're gonna talk about them. Let me know if you have a favorite. I would like to know that. Then we'll do the last three. 
I love the water on the Van Gogh. So here's what I noticed. They all mixed pretty easily. The two hardest ones to mix were the Windsor Newton and the Shinhan as far as mixing on the palette. They took a little more time to mix, but I like the colors. I would say Holbein is probably still my favorite only because I like the blue greenness of it. This one's too green. This one is too dark. This one is too blue for me. It's, it seems like um, a blue gray and I'm not really a blue person. And the closest one is Windsor Newton, but I wouldn't use it because I don't like using that much paint. It just, it took forever to, <laughs> to kind of blend. But in the Buff Titanium, I would say that I really like the Da Vinci here and I like this, um, the Van Gogh too. I like the grays that that produced. Of course, this is a more blue gray, and then this is a more warm, like almost a French gray. It reminds me of the Prismacolor French gray color pencil, and that was one of my favorites. So that's probably why I'm why I why I am drawn to this one. And you can see that one's a little greener. As far as the raw siennas, I would use any of those colors. This one's a little more brown. This one has a bluish cast. I probably don't have a favorite. Yeah, but I would probably use all of them, <laughs> if that makes sense, because they all did what I wanted them to do, which was dull the color down and give me some earthy browns. You know, starting with this bright color, I, I was hoping it would dull it just enough, and it definitely did that for me. So I would be happy with anyone on my palette for that. Now, as far as the violets and the upper pink, I tend to only use violets for mixing colors because I like what they do to something. So I like what a violet will do to an orange. I like what a violet will do to a green. It kind of neutralizes it a little bit more. So as far as the violets, I'm usually drawn more to a red violet than a blue blue violet. So that means this, this one I'm not really liking at all. It would probably be between this Holbein and the Blick as far as the red violets that I really like. This one is a little more um, like a nice mix of a blue and red violet where this one is definitely a red violet. But as far as those, I think I would probably put any of those on my palette if, I, if it was violets I was looking for. So you can see that I like them for different reasons, but as far as the main color up here, I'm still sticking with my superhero Holbein Davies Gray. It is still a favorite of mine. But hopefully this will let you see what other Davies Grays are out there and give you a chance to explore and try some on your own. If you were inspired by today's content, please like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.